that again playing the customer. And then we're going to have Mike Linton playing the salesperson. And I'd like to briefly go over an um, introduction of what we're going to do for you tonight. We're going to incorporate several different key points from different presentations out of this book. First, we're going to do the stimulus response, which is <coughs> incorporating key terms and phrases that will spark the attention of the customer. The second thing we're going to go over is the formula-based presentation, which we will use the fun tab, which is first uncovering the customer's needs, then going over features, advantages, and benefits. And the optic part is, if there is first the customer will have objections, then the salesperson will have to prove his points that he had before, and then go in for a trial close to see if the customer is ready to buy, and then lastly close the deal. The third kind of presentation we are going to do is the need satisfaction, in which it is oriented toward meeting the customer's needs and knowing how to best um, supply, best cover their needs. This is going to be a clean slate presentation in which the customer has not bought this type of car before. During our presentation, you'll see that we were going to go over three different kinds of questions. Mike is going to use three different kinds of questions in seeing if his customer is ready to buy and what he's wanting to buy. First, he's going to use channeling question in beginning the discussion, and then using a clarifying question in order to gain more information and better understand what the customer is looking for. And lastly, he is going to use a verifying question to verify, to make sure that the customer and the salesperson are on the same level and have the same understanding of what they have agreed upon. And then we're going to use a negotiation strategy. The strategy that we are going to follow is a problem solving strategy, which primarily involves discovering ways to benefit, to increase the benefit available to both the buyer and seller. And this you'll see that the customer, the salesperson will offer more information than needed to the sales to the customer and they will also offer concessions in addition to this in the end we will give you a closing of the sale in which mike will find out if he first do a trial close and finding out if the buyer is ready to buy or not and then close it by culminating all of the salesperson's efforts to acquire the order and ask for the order to be completed. Now we're going to do our presentation. Now you see that the salesperson has just built a rapport with his customer, and now you see he's going to go, he just went over the fun part of the presentation in which he first uncovered the customer's needs. So what are you telling me, Kevin, is that you want a truck that has a low insurance rate? Very comfortable. Yes, sir. Correct. And you like, you want something that's good buy stock? Yes, sir. Okay, we've got a couple trucks that I think you're going to enjoy very much. Okay. Well, this, this 
attractive features is the price. The price is charge is 12 grand. That's going to save you more money on a month to month basis. And I know you're going to really appreciate that, someone being at your age and going to college is, am I not mistaken? Sure, sure, yeah, I'm looking for a low, low custom truck. And this would be a great buy for you, Ted. Great. Another nice thing about it is that with trucks, all trucks, you get great insurance rates. Trucks, is that right? That, exactly. You know, if you got some speed demon like a Ford Probe or something like that, and your insurance rates are sky high, you don't want that. And I can't afford that. Too many tickets, you're right. Yeah, too many tickets. I, I hear you. I've been there, I Kevin. I told my car to get too many tickets, you're right. Yeah, I, I'm with you. You and me. Okay. We're tight. But now this one, this one, this has great guy fine. Now this may be two grand more at 14, but it has lower gas mileage, which means you're gonna save money in the long run. Ah. On a day-to-day -day ah. basis, okay. you're gonna be saving money. Okay. So when you go out, you won't be spending, let's say, 15 bucks a week in gas, spend 10 bucks. And that, Kevin, my friend, is gonna add up. Another nice thing about this is pick up the style. See how it's gonna sort of go down like yeah. that? And that. I like, the, I like the front. Yeah, I like the yeah. grid. That grid yeah, you like that? Yeah, yeah I like I that grid. I thought action. you would. Nice. Yeah, yeah, I thought you would. I can take, I can tell. Yeah, can I read you there? Let's check it out. Let's check out the seat. Oh, yeah. Open it up. It. Feel this. Feel the seat. What kind of material is this? It's, uh, 100% <laughs> cotton. Sit down in it. You gotta experience that. Isn't that comfort? Nice. Real nice. Now you see that Roger Daltrey over here has just clarified what Kevin was looking for in a car. And then he's gone on to go over the fab, fab part of the presentation and going over the features, advantages, and benefits of the car.